Today, I'm trading these for these and putting my driving skills to the test in a giant sandbox at Ontario's Conestoga College. It's time to move some dirt in the Heavy Machine Edition of Off Limits. This is your office? This is my office. Rain or shine, if it's snowing or not. We're outside all the time. I'm with Maya Glasser. Okay. I'll show you the different controls. Once in the Army, she now operates these. I've had the opportunity to do earth moving projects, put in a pond on a big site, some road construction, lots of pipe work. The experiences just keep coming. This is where you work. Yeah, it is. Welcome to the job site. And today, she's going to put me behind the wheel of a bulldozer and an excavator. First up, the dozer. It's best for leveling, shallow digging, and removing things like tree stumps or boulders. It can even tunnel underwater. And just like a tank, a bulldozer has tracks instead of wheels. And the last control to know is your floor pedal. It's called a decelerator. So it's not quite a gas pedal or a brake pedal. When you have your engine control all the way up, the machine will be running at full power. And when you push the decelerator down, you'll slow right down. But what's the most challenging thing about operating this? The most challenging thing about operating a bulldozer is just learning how to control the blade properly so you can get a nice smooth pass without making any bumps or dips in the ground. I'm a bit nervous. I've never done this. I don't want to destroy something, but I'm super excited. Okay, I'm turning it on. Next up, the excavator. So that moves dirt around. That moves a lot of dirt around. This beast tops the big machines for digging power. You've likely seen one scooping out a backyard pool or digging trenches on the side of the road. This one is huge, it's way bigger than the bulldozer. It can be a little intimidating, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. The one I'm learning on is a 13-ton excavator. It can dig six meters deep and pick up over 14,000 kilos of anything, the equivalent of two heavy elephants. So this one, like the bulldozer, has two hand controls, but these ones only operate your arm and your bucket. Okay. If you want to move, that's all on your feet with these pedals here. A lot of it is just practice. It helps to have pretty steady hands and good focus, because there's a lot to kind of think about, but eventually it just becomes natural and your hands sort of know what to do. Kind of stick out and then down, get your bucket in position, and then pull it in towards you. <laughs> and then you're going to do both hands back at the same time, and that'll bring it towards you. There, yeah, we there go. you go. Okay, I'm going to spin. Thanks, Maya. That was really fun. What advice do you have for someone who would want to get into this? I'd say if you have any idea that you'd want to get into this, just go and try it. Just find something that interests you um, and you can kind of work off that. Even if you start as a laborer, depending where you are, you can have plenty of chances to try out machines and you might find one that you love and get more training from there. I love both of these. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs>